one of the most frequently requested supplements that I would talk about on the channel is methylene blue. So in this video, we're going to take a look at the health benefits of methylene blue, whether or not it does have any longevity effects and what else you need to know about it. But do you want to slow down aging and live longer? If yes, then I'm looking for more people who want to reverse their biological clock. If you're interested, then email me the word health to info at and I'll send you the details. So methylene blue has become quite popular on social media over the past few years and uh, a lot of yeah medical experts and just journalists journalists say that it's just a fish tank disinfectant that is very bad for your health and you need to kind of avoid it and be very smart about using it because yeah if you consume it whether that be like this methylene blue trochee or methylene blue tinctures then it can cause some of this blue tongue is also used as a fish tank disinfectant that's uh, true but the fear and craze about methylene blue being somewhat dangerous is not really warranted. Methylene blue is actually on the list of the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. As a medication, methylene blue is mostly used to treat methemoglobinemia, which is a condition of elevated methemoglobin in the blood. But a lot of biohackers on social media are using methylene blue for various reasons as a longevity supplement and as a nootropic agent. So are those things true? Does methylene blue have any longevity effects? So we have a study from 2021, the potentials of methylene blue as an anti-aging drug. And uh, yes, there are some positive effects of methylene blue on aspects of aging and longevity, most specifically about brain aging, and uh, it does have neuroprotective effects as well. Some of the first interest of methylene blue as an anti-aging and longevity supplement uh, were first originated from this 2016 study where methylene blue alleviated nuclear and mitochondrial abnormalities in progeria. So uh, methylene blue has a lot of positive effects on the mitochondria. So mitochondria are your power plants of the cells that help you to produce energy and pretty much all aging, pretty much many other different chronic diseases are rooted in mitochondrial dysfunction. Methylene blue can alleviate some of defects in mitochondrial function and methylene blue can bypass complex one and three activity in the mitochondria. So your mitochondria have different complexes. So it's a chain of producing energy. And uh, because of methylene blue's characteristics as a compound and effects on the metabolism, it can have a positive effect on mitochondrial function, which then increases your energy production. And as a result, you also produce less oxidative stress. With lower oxidative stress, you age slower and you cause less damage to all the cells in the body. Methylene blue is also hydrophilic and lipophilic, which makes it very highly permeable through biomembranes. So so it can have a direct effect on a lot of the cells of your body and lower the oxidative stress in them. Methylene blue also has potent antiviral, antifungal and antiparasitic effects, which is why some people use it also to improve their immune system and uh, help with certain colds and other viruses. From the longevity side, then the biggest effect of methylene blue will have on your brain aging and cognition, which is why methylene blue is also used as a nootropic agent. So you have these trochees, you put it into your mouth, you uh, dissolve it there and uh, many people use it as like a nootropic or a smart drug. Now the issue with that is that these trochees also contain caffeine and nicotine, which <laughs> themselves are already cognitive agents and already will boost your focus and concentration and things like that. So it's hard to say whether or not this methylene blue itself has these nootropic effects or it's just people taking it together with nicotine and caffeine. So you would need to take methylene blue alone for yourself to notice any difference. But methylene blue still has a lot of positive effects on the brain. It's neuroprotective and it, of course, your brain has a lot of mitochondria, so it protects your brain function and helps to slow down brain aging by reducing the oxidative stress in the brain. Methylene blue is able to cross the blood brain barrier, which uh, makes it very like bioavailable to the brain. In human brain, methylene blue has been found to improve aspects of uh, cognition. Low dose methylene blue can increase functional MR imaging activity during sustained attention and short term memory tasks and enhance memory retrieval. Methylene blue was associated with a 7% increase in correct responses during memory retrieval. But besides brain aging, besides general longevity and aging, methylene blue can have positive effects on skin longevity and skin anti-aging as well. So of course, oxidative stress and free radicals ravage your skin as well. And a lot of the reason why you get wrinkles has to do with the oxidative stress you accumulate over your entire lifetime. If you minimize the oxidative stress, on the skin, then uh, you will also see uh, like a slower development of wrinkles over time. And methylene blue can actually protect the skin from the oxidative stress from like even sunlight. So sunlight exposure, the UV radiation does cause oxidative stress to the skin, at least in large quantities and in chronic exposure. So methylene blue can pretty much 
bolster the skin from this oxidative stress. And methylene blue can also apparently promote fibroblasts and uh, wound healing. So it can just help to heal the skin and recover it or rejuvenate the skin a lot faster. Because the reactive oxygen species that you get exposed from UV radiations or sugar intake or whatever else kind of oxidative stress that you experience, that reactive oxygen species decrease collagen synthesis and increase collagen breakdown. So the more oxidative stress you're experiencing from any source, whether that be sunlight, whether that be a bad diet, whether that be sleep deprivation, whether that be the blue light that I'm exposed to right now, then that will uh, break down your skin collagen and methylene blue. First of all, it creates a bigger barrier for your skin to protect itself. And second of all, it also triggers wound healing and the proliferation of fibroblasts that regenerate the skin. Feel how soft my skin is. So is methylene blue something that you would want to add to your longevity stack? It certainly has nootropic effects. It certainly has neuroprotective effects. It certainly has positive effects on the memory. It certainly protects your mitochondria, that it reduces oxidative stress and pretty much increases your energy production. And it certainly has benefits for the skin as well, that it reduces oxidative stress in the skin and also promotes skin rejuvenation and skin wound healing. Now, the issue is that in very large quantities, methylene blue can still have oxidative stress effects, so it can still cause damage to your skin or your brain even in very large quantities. Some of the negative side effects of methylene blue in large amounts have to do with renal insufficiency and hyperbilirubinemia. It can also cause higher blood pressure. Children and babies should certainly avoid methylene blue because the quantities for them are too high and it will probably have more negative effects. For adults, the various dosage used between are one to four milligrams per kilogram. What I would recommend is to just, you know, start out with only like one to two milligrams and test it out. You don't necessarily need to like macrodose it because yeah, in large quantities, it's gonna have a negative side effect. The issue with methylene blue is also its purity. Even pharmaceutical grade methylene blue has been found to have some impurities like arsenic, aluminum, cadmium, mercury, and lead. Overall, I would say that methylene blue, yes, is very interesting and it has a track record of being used as a medicine. It has some other like more biohacking benefits like for your brain for your memory for your skin health and mitochondrial function energy production but the evidence for that is still relatively limited probably due to the fact that we don't have that many human clinical trials but other than that thanks for watching this video make sure you click a like subscribe notification bell as well my name is Seem. stay optimized stay empowered